deaf students are innately visual. For some students, this translates very readily to their, to their visual artwork. Okay, you guys ready for another one? I do believe that deaf students have a unique perspective of the world because they don't rely on their hearing for information, they rely on their eyes. Their eyes are their ears for the world. When my students come into art, I want them to have fun, I want them to learn about themselves, learn to work together, learn to see their, themselves and their world creatively, but mostly inside I, I like their self-esteem to be positive and, and, and to grow. My middle school students are working in a peer mediation program and this is a program which provides them, provided them training to learn how to solve conflicts themselves. The students are, are working right now doing wire sculptures of figures. They identified conflicts and they're building sculptures showing conflict scenarios and it's a way to incorporate all of those skills in an art class and to, instead of having a dry lecture, they're producing great art and reinforcing those, the concepts and the feelings that happen in our lives every day. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm part of our statewide consulting services department. And that brings students who are deaf and hard of hearing together. It gives them a chance to explore their social emotional needs as deaf and hard of hearing children in mainstream settings give them a chance to meet other children because they're often isolated. And I work with a friend of mine, Jacqueline Durant Harthorn, who's the recreation therapist. Pam is a spectacular teacher. She's wonderful to work with, she's wonderful with the kids, she's energetic, she's enthusiastic. And I think what makes her a good teacher with the students here at Baxter is that she's extremely dedicated and very caring. That a lot of our students have some really difficult times that they live through and Pam is very sensitive and warm with them. And Jacqueline and me and Teresa, we need to know what to do to help you. She's just a really sensational person and I'm, I feel very privileged to be able to work with Pam. When a student's working um, and learning a new process, such as throwing on the wheel, there are different stages of, of, of learning. The first goal is to center the clay, and often that will take a very long time and lots of struggles and frustrations to get it right. Um, and I'll put my hands with them on the wheel, try to explain, we'll stop, um, we'll look at it. Um, as my students open the clay up and then start to pull it up, lop and stop just to check on the process along the way because the more I can help my students realize that the process is the important piece. As with many things in life, if you don't get it right in the beginning, your end product is not going to be successful. Art is connected to everything we do. I think that it's an expression of who we are and that goes way beyond this thing that I make. If you can express yourself, whether it's through art or through writing or through speaking, um, that you're going to have a better shot at being a successful part of our world.